All right, so the last question we have today is from Elise de Barros. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. If not, I apologize, Elise, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. <laughs> and that's from Instagram, so feel free to follow her there. How do I make time for fun in my busy schedule during the school year? How do you make time for studying in your busy fun schedule is the better question. Um, I think this probably comes from a high school student because when you get to college, you're going to have, we had, we had to take five classes or we paid for five courses per semester. So I, <clears throat> and each is like three hours long. I think it was like an hour and 15 minutes per class. Um, each week it ended up being a three hours per week, some magic way with math, with my, no, that math. Um, so I'm in class for six hours a day, maybe, no, maybe. three hours a day. Yeah. Um, maybe if I have two or three classes, then I have the rest of the day off to like do whatever, homework, hang out with friends, usually hang out with friends, eventually do homework at like two o'clock in the morning. But you, you get distracted by, by doing all this fun stuff and there's gonna be activities in the middle of the day. We, we would hang out in the dining hall for like two hours and just chat about stuff. It gets, the time gets away from you. The, the problem is really ends up, ending, ends up being figuring out when to put in studying. <laughs> Yep. It's not at two o'clock in the morning because you need sleep. sleep. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it depends on who you are, but I feel like a majority of people who go to college um, have, like Kara said, the opposite problem, finding time for studying and all the fun um, because you have a lot of freedom now. Nobody's telling you when and where you should study. Um, you kind of have to self-discipline. So. A lot of people get kind of carried away um, and they you know always pick the fun over studying um, yes. so it's really hard <laughs> to find a balance um, but you will definitely learn from your mistakes I definitely did um, for example my first semester I was pretty excited about the freedom and I didn't do all that well <laughs> grade-wise um, compared to, you know, my senior year, I made the Dean's List every semester, so you just have to figure out, you know, the balance, um, and you, you know, especially around, when, like, midterms and, uh, finals come around, and it all slaps you in the face, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I should have probably, like, done something this semester, yeah. um, but you'll learn from your mistakes, but, um, just some advice ahead of time, definitely prioritize school. Um, because it's expensive and it's hard, um, but it's worth it when you do well. So make sure it's a priority, but also have fun. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's huge. Yeah. Uh, have fun, number one, because after those four years, unless you continue education, they're gone and they go yeah. quick. <laughs> they go real it's quick. Dark. <laughs> it's super dark. <laughs> I'm just telling it like it is. <laughs> But I think, so a couple of things, you, you guys touched on it too. High school and middle school, everything is very, your hands being held, here's how everything's gonna be. You have a certain amount of time to do things in class, out of class, you're assigned homework every single night. A lot of the times in college, you're gonna get there, they're gonna hand you a course syllabus and they're gonna say, this is when certain things are due, you're on your own. You have that one class a week that's gonna last maybe an hour 15, maybe three hours if it meets only once a week. But your, your hand is no longer being held. You, you are on your own, and that is where the issues come in with, okay, well, I'm in class, I made it to class, that's great, boom, done. Well, no, you still have to set aside time to get your schoolwork done. A lot of people are gonna go out, have parties, have fun, be in those intramural sports I talked about earlier. But because Elise is writing this question, it's also important to note, your freshman year at college is going to have a wide arrangement of students and what their level of education is. Yeah. Depending on where you went to school, you might actually find your freshman year a lot easier than your senior year of high school. Because of you writing this yeah. question, Elise, I think you might be okay, unless you're going somewhere like Harvard or like something insane. But <sighs> right, it, she could be. Who knows? But, no, 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 uh, I mean, like, please, she'll do fine. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I believe in you, Elise. <laughs> Elise. So. Yeah, that's that's the main thing is that everybody's going to have fun, everybody's going to have a good time, but the balance is very important. Make sure you're going to hit those course syllabus deadlines. Make sure that you have ample time for the midterm and yeah. the final. Those are usually weighted the heaviest out of everything. Yeah. But uh, you're going to have more of an issue 
the opposite of the question, so. And you go to class. Important. Even if it's not required, go to class. Like Molly said, you're paying a lot, like a lot of money for this. Each, I think we figured out like each class was like $300 for us. So when a teacher would, uh, when a professor would cancel, we'd be like, it just cost me $300. And I already woke up and it's eight o'clock in the morning. Um, so go go to class and like pay attention because that, that makes doing your homework easier. I mean, I literally studied for, for tests because I would take notes during lectures and like I would review those notes. I wouldn't really read the chapter or anything. It was like all based on that. So go to class, pay attention be active and participating because that's the biggest asset for you to help you maintain that balance so that you have more time for fun. Yeah, and my, I mean, this is what my dad raised me to remember is the key to life is balance, mm -hmm. that's it. Just make sure that you're not doing too much of one or the other. Um, make time for fun, but definitely make time for school. Um, so, yeah. All right.